Okay, this is my 1941 Monarch 10E E lathe. We'll see if I can do a little more detail on the variable frequency drive conversion. Uh, go ahead and start it up and speed it up, Tyler. No, lower, lower, down. And it still maintains the factory speed control knob. And you see right now we're running at 1.2 amps. At approximately 1250 RPM. Go ahead and slow it down to a thousand. has the factory drum switch to start and stop it. Go ahead and stop it. Go in reverse. Stop it. Okay. I have the Hitachi drive. Kind of got to use a little flashlight here to light it up. Just a generic off the shelf braking resistor. Crawl in there. See if I can show where the potentiometer is. Right in here. This is the control potentiometer for the speed control. It even uses the original chain drive and sprocket to control that. And then this is the uh, AC motor where I've connected it to the original gearbox. This is connected using a uh, Lovejoy coupling so there's no modifications done to the motor. It can be unbolted and bolted in with uh, whatever replacement motor you want. Now as far as the uh, gearbox is concerned did have to do quite a bit of modifications to that. See if you can show that back plate. This plate right here was manufactured and there's an, an adapter plate in there to center it up and then a new shaft was made for that gearbox. If I can sh show you the Lovejoy connection Now, of course, this was an old flat belt um, Monarch lathe, and I did what everybody suggested and just bought a regular automotive flat belt and turned it inside out. And that seems to have worked out real well. So. Good, good. There's good enough. 1941.